Martin. Today is day nine, probably. I lost track of time, to be honest. I just know it's Sunday, and it's that girl's birthday. <laughs> we are headed out for breakfast. We're going to go check out Maxwell Food Center. And then, what are we gonna do? We're literally just freestyling this whole country. Oyster. Well, for the most part, I love oyster. Put them together, maybe I like it. Let's see, they they don't really offer napkins. You buy it from aunties that sell it there, or you can bring some of your own. Um, they're very tight on the littering rule. Don't litter, obviously. I mean, it should be everywhere, but here they're like, you gotta do your man. That's why it's pretty clean here. There's low, there's low uh, criminal activity because everyone just. Doesn't want to be an asshole here. <laughs> this is oyster omelet. I don't know what sauce that is, but I just asked them which sauce is best with it. Here's a little piece of oyster, Here's some egg, some uh, green onion. Mm. That's pretty good. Oh, egg. Oh, whoop. <laughs> He's not even here. Anyone know? This is pork and egg shopau, aka bun for you white people. That's good. Seriously, I've only been outside for five minutes and I am sweating balls. It's not because of the actual like sun. The sun's alright, but the humidity. Oh my gosh. It's so humid. It's like 100%. I'm pretty sure I mentioned this. It's 100% humidity. I haven't even like fact checked it, but I, I can just feel it. <laughs> oh my god. We are currently roaming Chinatown. Alright, now we are in the heart of Chinatown. Oh my gosh, I'm sweating so much. What I love about this little area, it's shaded. We found the hotel that I wanted, Santa Grand. But uh, I think or Orchid, or Orchid was a bit cheaper, so. But look at this, it's literally right outside everything. <laughs> See, my criteria for hotel choosing is location, location, location. And a bit of the pricing, but location's number one priority. And here, it is amazing. So if you want my personal recommendation for, um, for hotels, I would say try it in Chinatown. At least for Singapore. Yeah, well, that's if you're doing Chinatown stuff. If you're doing more so rich, fancy areas, do Marina Bay Sands or within the downtown core or Car Key. If you're doing more shopping or Little India, do Orchard Park area. Be smart with your location, location, location. And money. <laughs> That's pretty dope, Bruce Lee. <laughs> yeah. This is, this is Chinatown Complex Center. AKA where the Michelin star place is. Oh, sorry, I'm blocking her view. Um, later on, we're just gonna walk around first. We just had breakfast, so we're gonna try it out. Hopefully there's no queue for the uh, the food place, so. Please fan me. It's so humid, it's so humid. But it's so nice here. There's just lots of different shops with mainly souvenir-like stuff. Um, but right now we're not gonna grab those. We are looking for a drink. But there's none that I see. But we're gonna go visit this, oh sorry, okay. this little joint in a second. We're just doing a little lap around. Oh. Ha <laughs> ha 
圆满修多罗，大德菩萨僧，德南师利。So I'm seeing different styles instead of uh, all Catholic churches. I'm with my broski. We are at a beautiful... Huh? <laughs> what did you say? I said hello in Thai. There's like a Thai family that kept us together. This is Chinese place. <laughs> <laughs> We just had the Buddha Tooth Relic Temple and Museum. Um, they were having a prayer session or whatever session you call it. Uh, that sounded a little bit ignorant, but I don't know. It was a pray. They were praising something, someone. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna stop. And pardon me if I'm like super sweaty. Um, like I try my best to kind of like wipe my head off before the actual clip. But it's almost impossible. Two seconds later, it just goes back to what it was. So, forgive me if I have sinned. Anyway, here's Wonder Wall. Maybe Chinese. Maybe. Yeah. All right. Now we're inside the complex. Whoa! This place is lit too. There's already like queues for some of these places here. But we are looking for. The Michelin star, where are you? It's supposed to be this place, but I guess they're closed. So they're off three days, 17, 18, 19. Okay, apparently, so they, they do have a new location, and it's just down this street. Okay, it's open, right here. So we are at Chan? Oh, is it Hawker Chan? I think it's the name of the place, or the new name of the place. And there's a bunch of like articles over there. World's first to earn Michelin star. I don't care about the Michelin aspect of it, I care about the taste of it. I don't care about the experience. As long as I eat, I get a seat, and we should be good. Yeah. I don't know, I'm dying. I'm sweat. I changed my shirt, the other one's drenched. I can't live like this, man. What was the question again? Liao Fan, Hakka Chan. I'm having roasted pork and their rice noodle. I don't know what that sauce is. There's a few vegetables. So I've got a sauce with it. I don't know what it is. It's... My mom gave me a piece of chicken. I shall reciprocate by giving a piece of pork. Yeah, after mixing all of that, let's try this out now. Noodles, good. I don't even know it's soy sauce. Mixed with something sweet. Delicious. Pork time. Dude, good. This juice is like dripping out. All right, Michelin star review. Mm. Mm. Okay, this is good. By far the best dish so far here in Singapore. Actually. Let's do a food review of, oh shoot, of this place. Uh, dining experience, not bad. I don't know about the Michelin star thing, but it's different. I'm not a Michelin star reviewer. Uh, in terms of food, I had the roasted pork. Very delicious, pricing, amazing. Four bucks. But <laughs> um, what else? The chicken was good. I only had one piece. But other than that, it was good. The noodles were number one. They were really good here. Um, there's other things to order. I see people having like whole chicken. I've only, we only had self piece just because we didn't want to order too much. Last time we ordered too much, we rested in peace and couldn't eat. The sauce, it was okay. I'd rather just not have the sauce. Just eat it straight up. Why add a sauce when there's already sauce on it? It's kind of disrespectful in a way. Well, at least for me, but number one. But oh my gosh, the queue is long now. Thank God we came early. When we came, the queue started right here. But now it's like, forget that. 
I am burning. Like my shirt was disgusting. My blue shirt. It was just dripping sweat. I didn't want to show it because it was that bad. Overall Chinatown experience. Pretty damn good. Uh, beats out Chinatown in uh, Spadina, Toronto, Kensington Market. <laughs> Whoa. Nice. So Temple is currently closed for wa- oh shoot! <laughs> I missed the step there. Temple is currently closed for washing. Um, I embarrassingly missed the step there. Thought I tripped. <laughs> I wonder if you know how they live in Singapore. Where is my family going at the- we're gonna go back down that street. Drift. Drift. Oh, I don't know where they're going. Oh. Uh, we have become really obsessed with the store ever since we tried it out at SM Fairview and it is called that it's too nice man so this is Singapore version currently trying to look for a sim card because the Wi-Fi in our hotel I probably mentioned it is uh, pretty bad so I don't care if it's expensive, if I have to pay extra, I, I, I will. I'm tired of not having good internet. Like, I could have a crappy ass hotel, but if you have good Wi Fi, you go with me. Priorities. <laughs> oh, wait, location, and then Wi Fi, and then whatever else. Elise, we love Miniso. <laughs> mm -hmm. We love Miniso. <laughs>